Hi, I'm Erica. Welcome to my channel. And I'm here today with a quick review of a few of the items that came in my curl kit. So if you want to see a review of the shit that actually came in my curl kit for the month of February, stay tuned because that's coming up for you next. Guess the bag, make up, put up your hand. gonna kind of be fast and sweet because you know I need to go wash my hair um, the items that I'm reviewing today are the uh, dark and lovely all natural all natural I don't know um, anti shrinkage clumping curl clay cleanser I actually liked this cleanser a lot um, the only thing is it sort of seemed to work kind of like a uh, conditioning cleanser or whatever or co-wash so um, I don't think I will substitute it for my regular shampoo that was one thing the second thing is you put it on your hair and you leave it on for like three to five minutes and so I would probably use this as a midweek cleanser which is when I tend to co-wash because um, I had to like get out of the shower for five minutes or whatever and then get back in and then get out of the shower again for my deep conditioning and then that was just too much back and forth for the E double so um, so I wouldn't use it then but outside of the three to five minute leaving it on to soften your hair I did actually like it I felt like between this and my deep conditioner I actually got less less excuse me tangles than I usually do less shed hairs less hair coming out at the end of the day so that I really did like um, they didn't send a actual conditioner in the curl kit that I received anyway so I did deep condition with my affirm deep conditioner which I have a review of this deep conditioner already posted to my channel and I will link that in the description box below for you so I washed with the clay conditioner here then I deep conditioned with my affirm which was lovely then um, I will say in their defense, I did not do as they suggested. So in the directions, although they gave you a leave-in, they said to go directly to the Clumping Curl Cream Gel, which um, I did not do. So what I did was I usually do the lock method, which is liquid or leave-in oil and then a cream. So that's what I did. So I used I put some of their leave-in in while my hair was still soaking wet I added a light I don't have it out here but I added a sweet almond oil to seal in the moisture and then I went through with the anti shrinkage clumping gel so I will say this one thing is since this is a cream gel it was really really light so I didn't feel like my hair took forever to dry like it usually does and which was a plus Although I will say, although the names of these items are anti-shrinkage, I actually did get a lot of shrinkage. So I will show you a short clip of the shrinkage that I got right now. I headed to a workshop. My hair is not even all the way dry. And yes, it is shrinking. So we'll see what happens, but I will check in with you guys shortly. might be a little different than just sitting and reviewing. So this is my hair. All right, um, but it is soft. So let's see how short it is by the end of the day. The battle of the shrinkage begins. Okay, see you guys shortly. Bye. So yeah, so immediately after, like literally, before my hair was dry, it was already shrinking, although I did get some pretty good definition with this, and I did not get any um, crunchiness. So it was really soft, as they say. The only thing I will say is that, like, today is Tuesday, and I have exercised, I have slept, but basically, it's like there's nothing on my hair. Like, I have no definition, no really curl, and it's okay for a fro, but basically I feel like I need to either do a twist out today or totally rewash my hair, which is a little bit more, not what I would like. 
So while I did like this cream gel, and I probably will try it again directly after um, washing with their, with their clumping clay cleanser, as I suggest, to see if I get different results, but I still feel like I need a little bit of a stronger hold on my hair just so that it can last me longer because I'd like to at least go until Wednesday or Thursday, if at all possible, without having to do a twist out or having to wash my hair because really I needed to wash my hair yesterday, honestly, and I just wanted to do this video first. So um, that being said, these products were pretty cool. The leave-in was okay. Um, it was cool. It was, I found it to be moisturizing. I wasn't overly impressed with it, um, but it's with certified natural ingredients. It's shea, uh, mango and shea butter. So that's a good thing. Um, so I think the leave-in was decent. So for me, the biggest winner would be the cleanser. I wouldn't mind using this in the middle of the week when I'm just doing a sort of um, co-wash. I would like to substitute this for my co-wash. I would definitely do that. And I'm going to give the cream gel another try. And the leave-in is okay. I'm undecided on this. I don't think it'll be a part of my regimen because I feel like it's not really different than any other moisturizer, so I would have to check what the actual price point is on this before I would really make a decision to actually use it um, going forward. And then actually, I didn't even notice that this conditioner leave-in is not dark and lovely. This is Cream of Nature Mango and Shea Butter. So that's what I use, these three products here. So uh, that's it for today. Thank you guys. Um, like, subscribe, share, all that good shit. And I will see you guys again on the next video. And with those items, I will review the remaining items in my curl kit and let you know how my hair turns out. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Ciao for now, folks. Bye.